Hello, this is Andre Andropoulos uh, from the Tech Trader. I'm filling in for Harry Boxer for Tuesday, July 2nd. These are the charts of the day. The first stock we're going to look at is AYX. The stock opened slightly higher, um, had a very minor pullback, and then um, volume came in. We have a breakout and uh, just a, move, a slight move through trend line uh, resistance backed off and profit taking and then found some support here, like around 108.65. Then we have like, oh, it looks like it popped a falling wedge, stair step higher here, up through trend run resistance again, backed off, broke support, popped again, and then it was just kind of in a narrowing up and down pattern here, um, above and below the trend line support, trend run resistance, and then eventually um, held trend line support and popped, pulled back, narrowing channel. Then we have a breakout here where it started to form a little bit of a wedge and then into a falling channel. But basically, even though it was a little bit choppy, the close was bullish. If we move to the daily chart now, the short term signal strength is strong and the longer term trend strength is strong. Swing targets. I would have on here would be we have resistance around 111.89 so that would be the initial target then 112.50 uh, 115 longer term the midpoint would be 117.50 and 120 going on to the next chart would be BLL so this stock Ball Corporation stock had a small gap this morning and then a minor pullback from there where uh, it looks like some buying volume came in pushed it up this is a break breakout through trend line resistance spiked to a new high backed off held trend line support popped a falling wedge looks like a small flag here breakout and then a narrowing kind of a trading pattern, narrowing wedge, then into a falling wedge, falling channel, still held trend line support, popped a falling wedge again, moved higher up to, uh, looks like a breakout new high. And then this is just kind of a rising, kind of a rising channel, but a narrowing wedge along the way. Ended up having a, a strong close. It moved slightly higher in after hours. If we take a look at the daily, and look for swing targets. Um, so I see next swing target is 72.50, 75, and maybe a midpoint um, of 80 would then would be 77.50 and then 80, those are longer term. So moving on to the next stock, we have, I believe, M-A-X-R, that was a, a stock that I had posted on several times today. The company is contemplating selling uh, their MDA space business. Um, there's two European companies that are interested in it. So M-A-X-R is a symbol. The stock opened about 19 cents higher, pulled back slightly. If we look here, and then volume came in, and I'm assuming that's probably when the news came out, volume came in, it uh, broke out, and then extended its move. Um, looks like shorts were were covering, and it ran through trend line resistance and continued to spike higher, ran into some resistance here, backed off, falling wedge, popped, breakout, well, popped, and then broke out over the previous high, stair step higher. Looks like it ran into a wall of resistance around 935. Backed off on some heavy volume, but held trend line support. Popped a falling wedge, stair stepped higher, narrowing rising channel. Here we ran into a little bit of a choppy pattern. Backed off again, again, stair step higher, buyer step back in. Shorts are covering. Back off slightly, again, new. New high, 
where it ran into a wall, almost looks like a triple top there, around 943, backed off, falling wedge, found support, choppy, narrowing wedge, but bullish, up and down here, and then a strong close, and I expected it to get a little follow through in after hours, and it has short term, single strength is strong, longer term, trend, uh, trend strength is strong as well. We moved to the daily for swing targets. Um, I believe the, the session high was about 9.43. It did move slightly higher in after hours. I'm going to put um, swing targets on here of 10 and 1.12.50, or 10 and 12.50. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. I think 10 and 12.50 are realistic. Now we're going to go on to the, um, to the next chart. And that is M G T X. So M G T X does not normally trade a great deal of volume, though it, it had a pretty bullish day today. So the stock um, opened a little bit lower, had a minor pullback to 2788. Um, if we take a look right here and there was a choppy narrowing kind of a wedge that hugged trend line resistance dropped below it so it became support but it was up and down in a narrowing channel and ended up closing uh fairly strong 3.5 percent or one dollar it's not a big gain but the trading action was bullish the close is bullish short term single strength is strong longer term trend strength is strong as well if we move to the daily On, <clears throat> on this stock, we're going to say initial swing target. So we have resistance at 29.44. The next target would be 30, uh, 3250. 35 is up here. So we're going to say 30, 3250, and 35. But it needs to get through around 29.44, 29.45 uh, resistance. So now we're going to go on to the next stock, which is SMAR, S-M-A-R. SMAR is a stock that looks like it had a tiny gap, minor pullback here. And some volume, a little bit of volume came in, moved up through trend line resistance. Just kind of in a narrowing, ran into a wall resistance here, backed off, falling, channel falling wedge, held, held trend line support all the way along here. Then we have kind of a pop out of a falling wedge, breakout, flag, another breakout, looks like a slight pull back and a breakout, and then it pulls back, slight narrowing channel, but it's moving higher. You know, in a in a rising pattern here. Here we have a narrowing kind of a wedge coil. We have a breakout again, stair step. Found a little bit of a wall of resistance here, backed off into a falling channel. But again, this is a tight narrowing pattern in a close. Close was strong. So if we, like I said, short term trend strength is strong. Longer term trend. Um, is strong as well. If we move to the daily, I'm looking for swing targets. So we have resistance at 51.67, and then we take a midpoint. We're going to go 52.50 and 55 for swing targets. And then we're going to go on to the last stock, which is OSIS. OSIS. So this stock had a very small gap. It gapped 14 cents. And then it pulled back to um, gap from 115.20 last night to 115.34 this morning, which is very small. Pulled back to 114.07, which is right around here, or it held trend line support. And buyer stepped in. Looks like we have a breakout. 
extension move stair step higher to where it ran into um, some resistance around 116.45. Backed off, choppy, kind of a narrowing pattern, but still bullish. Popped again. Now it looks like it formed somewhat of a double, triple top here. Looks like it actually it looks like it might be a quadruple top. Backed off on profit taking, found support around 115.60. Popped again, narrowing, tight channel here. And then moved into, as profit takers came in, moved into a falling channel, falling wedge. And then stayed in that, in a narrowing, kind of a trading range. Popped again. And then still ended up closing um, fairly decent. I mean, it wasn't a big day. It closed up 69 cents. But the short-term trend, um, sure, the, sh the short-term outlook and longer-term trend strength um, remained strong. For swing targets, I would have to say 116.42 is resistance. Uh, my next target would then be 117.50 and 120. I'll leave those targets there. I don't really want to get too far out on swing targets. I'd like to see those targets achieved before we put um, another level of targets on. So those are the six charts of the day, tech traders. Um, have a good evening, and we will catch up with you on Wednesday. Thank you.